grace and peace to you on this 33rd day of Lent as we continue in our Lenten series, Being a Christian, Advice from Paul in Romans 12. Today we focus on verse 18 and peace. Before I read this verse, I invite you to pause for a moment, settle in, and open your heart and mind to hear the word of the Lord. Romans 12, 18. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. The peace of the Lord is shalom, well-being, goodness, wholeness, the world as God first created it to be and will one day make it again. Harmony, reconciled relationship with God and each other. A sense of cosmic okayness, as Richard Rohr calls it. The deep conviction that no matter what happens, we are saved, we are loved, all will be well. And as followers of Christ, we are to be people of peace to speak the good news and do the good work of Christ that brings peace, to be calm and kind in these anxious and reactionary times, to pause and take a deep breath and feel the Holy Spirit flow through us. In the words of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, but the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. How might you live peaceably with all the people in your life? Let us pray. Gracious God, may you give us your peace in all our circumstances and in all our relationships. Amen. <music>